Thanks for messing around. Many Moonspell brings the five seasons of pain and Vampire Survivors Beswick 127. All right, time for some Many Moonspell into Whiteout and Space 54. This is not going to end well. Explode already. Yeah, oh, this is off to a bad start. But all starts with her are bad. Oopsie. Oh, can of Labrador. Will I get any benefit out of that, anything? I mean, it says it does. Nothing here, nothing there. Oh boy. I want to go early awake? Seems like a terrible idea. At least eventually I can go Megalo. Spinach is on the map, so I don't need it. Wow, re-rolling already. What do I need? An oh, empty tome, obviously. There we go. Crown is always a good pickup. Unless you're trying to do like a low level run or something. No, oh, yeah, that's an option. No. Yeah. No, I think about it, I probably should have included like. Oh, this is a challenge now. Huh. Man, it's really going fast now. Alright, your cooldown goes to super max once you're in megalo form. Yeah, 100%, it doesn't get faster than that. Does so much damage, too. Too bad it won't activate when it would actually be useful. Man, I took so much damage because the weapon fires off so strangely. Oh, base area up is better. Tome it up. <laughs> cooldown increased. I have no cooldown at all. Hey, Clover. Was that double megaloing? That was weird. Nope, oh, bigger base area. Yet it still doesn't hit everything I need it to hit. Right, I can just charge into things and destroy it. What the heck am I even going to get? This duplicator. I'm not sure it even affects it, but I got it anyway. Oh, double megalowin. Probably should have gotten the crown first, but whatever. Hey, chest. Nope, level up storm. Guess I'm gonna grab tier Jisu just because I know this is gonna end poorly. Why do you have extra banishes? Did I get that somewhere? Oh. Okay, not too many levels gained from that. Oh, I gotta avoid that gem. Now I can take it. Right, I get 108 Boche when I'm in Megalo form, don't I? I need to go get the wings as a sapping. Can't get that chest. Too much of a problem. And even with them firing off endlessly, they still don't have enough area to clear the map. Yeah, they're just completely missing the middle. I probably should have grabbed Boogaloo then. That would have fixed all these problems, clearly. Well, when I inevitably lose, I will be picking that up. 
for the next round. Hey, your mother, grandmother. I don't actually know what the full lineage tier is. Well, I mean, Meni is an elder, Miang is the main, and Siutu is her brother. I don't really know where Baba Oni fits in. Did I skip one? Oh, that's a ton of levels I didn't need to grab. Stalker. That's not you, that's Drowner, who's defanged. Does that mean that... Well, this wouldn't do damage anyway, because I'm Megalomania. Oh, another level. Is that proc is... Huh. I guess that proc's like a rosary effect. Is that five digit damage? No, it's just 1k. It's still a ton, but still. It's not five digits. Wait, really? What? Is this how this weapon always worked? I don't remember. It's been forever since I've used it correctly. Oh, I should go grab some of this stuff. What did I get? Beginning? Guess I can get Boogaloo now. It's not gonna have much of an effect, though. But it could be funny. Yeah, that's hitting pretty dang hard. Still not gonna be enough once the bigger waves come in, though. Well, I guess this is no man. And I am still in Megalo form. Now, I got a bunch of small clovers. If you don't have the damage to spam out the snowmen, it gets really bad here. As you've no doubt noticed. Or hopefully you've noticed. I don't know, two minute watch time. Pretty dangerous. So if you've gotten this far, thanks for watching. It's gonna be continuing for a long, long time. If I think the gap between the Among Us DLC and this Contra DLC is going to be really short overall compared to the other ones. It's not like I put a number to it, so it might be just in totally in line with it. <laughs> I wonder if we're going to get Sugan in DLC. That would be hilarious. Well, yeah, of course they still have the rights. Konami still has the rights. They're making the remaster, which will they come out never. Surprised they even surprised the announce it to Shadow Drop along with Ayudan. That's just a weird idea. I mean, it should be coming out sometime this year, right? Right? There's really no reason it should be pushed back any further. Wow, 2,000 damage. That's very high. Wow, more small clovers. That's a ton of them. I wonder what's going on with that. Why am I... That's the wrong thing. There it goes. Mm, nice big treasure chest. Well, full of all that money I totally needed. Wow. I wasn't expecting this to go so smoothly. Especially after what regular Rena did. She wasn't able to... It, they, bay, may, cray, a, a, bay, k, day, yay, fay, gay, hey, k again, lay, may, nay, boy, Q 
Okay, a third time. Hey. Say, hey. You a. They, way, yay, zay. Huh. Never realized how many words that a y actually made. I mean, high T gets you like bit and zit and wit. That's about it. Well, you're going to take out Amaretsu pretty easily, huh? Yeah, I can just chain spam everything. I barely paid attention to what was going on on the screen. This is a surprise considering why that's been so problematic in the past. But this is playing out exactly how it is playing out. Very, very large. Like six digits. I was not expecting that. Almost 3k a hit. I'm invincible, so let's just sit on you. Maybe I'll actually be able to take them out on camera for once. That would be fun. I'm mean, just overlapping like mad. I should have just grabbed a tractor or this would have made it even funnier. Oh, there's another vacuum. Only a couple levels, but it does spawn out another whole bunch of wave of attacks. Oh right, there is an absolute warning when you boot up the game, isn't it? Well, I suppose if you're watching Vampire Survivors, you know what you're getting into. But if this does cause damage to you, sorry about that. But I did have a request from commentator to put it back on, and I finally remembered to put on flashing lights and numbers. So there it is. Man, even the big... St oh, wait, I'm in regular form again, aren't I? Or am I? I can't even tell anymore. No, my cooldown's so super high. Hey, why is it so high? What was that lightning effect? Oh, I think I took one down. Nice. Oh, wait. This is going to be problematic, isn't it? Yeah, you can't actually hurt me. Uh-oh. I can get the last vacuum in the rosary. Crab battle. What are you doing in your crab battle? Wait, did I just get into another with random events? Aww. Um, well, I did successfully take it, but... Yeah, what is going on? Oh, the snowman keeps spawning in. That's weird. Well, I guess at that rate, I will never actually lose this. Because I'll just keep spanning Megalo. Well, I could... I guess. No? Oh, good. They're not spotting it anymore. Oh, they're... I mean, they are, just not as much as they used to. Ah, one part of me wants to just cut out now. On the other hand, I want to see how far the Megalowin is stocked up. Wait. Oh, yeah, it's three deaths right there. And they can't do anything when you're invincible. Oh, I can't get another or a vacuum orb. Get as many levels as I can. Oh yeah, what'd the area go out to? 249? Not bad. I basically stopped getting a ton of stuff, because why do you need anything when you're invincible? Okay, I think four deaths is enough. That's a very deathy number. Alrighty. Only 721 million. Oh, that is 108 Boche. Weird. I don't think I've actually played Menya, regular Menya. Wait, yes I have. I literally played it on screen. It? Her? Jeez. Well, either way, that's what I've done. 
Space 54 should not be any difficulty whatsoever. And let's prove that correctly. Da -da -da -da. And right, we'll go Boogaloo from the start. It will probably not do anything. And I don't know if Duplicator did anything, but... Well, Candle Arbor an empty Tomer on the map. So, I have limited pickups. Anyway. Oh, dang Galagabats. Why do I keep not from bothering to check that? It's because obviously the end section is so intense that I keep forgetting. Empty Tomer's on the map, so I'll get a tracked orb. Uh oh, hey, chicken, that was lucky. Not oh, Megalo inform. Oh, dang it, the crown was there. And I have Toronas at least. Tarona. Tarona. Just grab the first one. Oh, take out that shadowy fella. Get the attract orb so I can get more gems. Hey, NFT, and you're on the map. Hey, Shannon. It's gonna be crown, and then who knows what else. Might even just be tier G so again, even though I don't think I'll need it. But yeah, I wasn't expecting her to have such an easy time overall. Whiteout was surprisingly simple, considering all the pain it's caused me. I guess I haven't really done that much with Defang on her, so chaining the Megalos didn't come naturally. Also, when the weapon was first introduced, it was it started in the corners doing no area. So it was really hard to use. That probably gave you a bet and gave me a bad first impression that I never really worked past. As you know, first impression is very important. That's why I have so few viewers, because my first video was bad. And I will fully cop to it. But I was desperate and hoping for a lucky break. And I didn't get it, so I'm just going to have to do the grind. Aw oh, yeah, grinding. I love grinding. Nothing like grinding in the world. I have the Brutusar for a reason. I really need to grab something else. I don't even know it would help. I guess Clover spawns more stuff than... It's not really that helpful. Can I break yet? Maybe I should've gotten wings. That could've done things. Heck, I don't even really need Empty Tome. It's just free on this map, so it doesn't matter. Right, it's one up more. Then I can come back and go for the golden finger. I wanted to say random event, but random event is in the bottom right. Oh, yeah, and I also need to do brave story runs too. Not really something I could do on this level of specificity. Because without going for specific builds, well, I just end up with constant Toronas boxes and Skullomaniacs. That is 100% what would happen. I might be strong enough to do it, but it is way too close to the posting time for me to want to spend it. The risk. Oh, banish it. 
This is a level up storm. Oh, not much of one. Yeah, there should be a boss soon. And if that happens, I should be able to get my Godai Shuffle. There you are. Come back here. Oh, you're Arcana. I guess. I still don't know if this does anything. It's not like there's any better options. Oh man, I wasn't lucky enough to turn that into a multiple evolution chest, huh? Uh-oh. So, you know, now that I actually am just soloing the weapon, I can actually see how it works. When you're playing normally... Oh, wait, no, I'm invincible. Bye-bye. Oh, well, that's not good. Why isn't that a gold chest from the Stalker? Heck, it was even purple. It was even a silver chest. Huh. So yeah, I've never really seen in depth how this weapon worked, because it was all six weapon runs. So I didn't really know it exploded in the as it powered up like this, it changed so much. Or that there was an explosion in the center when you turned it into Godai Shuffle. I mean, I remember the effects, kind of. Well, not that. It's all that noticeable now, but I don't remember the middle one. Oh. Wow, that was a lot of levels. Uh, so are these... Well, I mean, it's based on Japanese, so it might be the Japanese characters. Uh, so let's see, that means they should be... Wood... Metal... Fire, water, and air. Or are they just... What am I talking about? They should be just seasons. And then the fifth one would be the ever-popular ether. Or heck, maybe we're also going with some Golgora calendar here. That storm season. There it goes. What? Hey, the number can't go up very much. I guess they aren't spawning in. It's too much. Oh, I don't want a victory sword. Who would want a victory sword? It's lame. I want one of the animas. Look, you, you, you already see what's going on. There's really no... Like, you know, it's funny to see the anima show up. Good grief. So, Chalk Hurin is another character that's way pow more powerful with a solo weapon than with all of them. I had plenty of trouble actually winning with her beforehand. Well, not on the Bazwick, but back when it was first released. That's why I said she was, you know, more mediocre compared to Myong. But yeah, this is devastatingly strong. Six digits, super easy. Now, is it 15 or 20 here? Well, at least this is a newer stage, so I shouldn't be remembering off the top of my head. Everything else, though, I have no excuse. I just point to my bad memory. I mean, the fifth one has to be air, right? Where are you at, Golden Finger? Oh, there you are. Now I can't even go up correct because it's hitting so many enemies. Hey, 5k. It's the highest I've gotten. Greatest Jubilee! No, I want the anima! Heck, we've actually gotten Rondo of Gold out and made this comedy show. Oh, there was a ton of levels. 
What? No candy box, though. Can you get the anima here? No? Boo! I don't even know if getting the anima in them was correct or if it was just an oversight. Oh, hey, enemies showed up on screen. That's nice. I really should have grabbed Tyrone's box maxed, huh? I totally could have done Skullomaniac. Man, the numbers aren't even showing up on screen all that often anymore. Alright, time to think of a title for this one. I'm thinking the five seasons of victory with many moons now. Or many as five seasons of victory. Oh, maybe I should make the description a haiku. That would be terrible. Oh, level 200. And a ton more levels along the way. And yet, despite this sheer amount of damage, it would still probably inexplicably lose to the giant robots on Dairy Plant. Oh wow, I'm getting lag. That's not good. That's Sammy territory there. Wow, seriously, not the Super Candy Box 2 Turbo? Yeesh, I could have filled up my entire bar. I got Phaser, two Candy Boxes, Victory Sword, and Greatest Jubilee. I still got the Super Candy Box 2 Turbo coming up, too. Oh, wow, you survived. That's incredible. How much... Wait, no. You're not taking damage. You're based on being hit, aren't you? Yeah, well, that's fascinating to learn. So whatever gimmick that like Amel does is going to come here for... Wait, why am I here? Oh. Oh man, I almost forgot that. Chickens give you health numbers. God, it's been so long. Yeah, none of these take damage. They're based on getting hit or something. Or that or it's hidden, which would be really strange. Heck, even with this much sheer raw power they're getting in, if I was an invincible, I would have lost. Huh. Two, three, four, five, six. Two, three, four, five. I can't tell. They're coming in in separated waves. I think it's seven hits. It's hard to tell though. Oh well, that's enough fun for now. Megalo manages to escape with her life. Er, many escapes with her life because of Megalo form. 2.5 billion without much effort. Ah, oh, okay, yeah, definitely much stronger than I give her credit for. Or that might just be a sign old sanctuary talking. And again, Conchetto really came around on it, so. Hey, you can always build it for what you need. I should totally make a tier list video. Oh yeah. Thanks for watching. Okay, and with a surprising ease, regular Mania Moon spell has managed to show Whiteout in Space 54 what going Megalo really means. Boy, I wasn't expecting it to be that easy. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you had some fun. Give a like if you really liked the video, a dislike if you didn't. Comment if there's any builds you want me to try, and a subscription if you want to support the channel. Have a good day, and keep mezzing around.